different subcultures throughout the United States, and it's for a Google TV channel. And our, this is our first episode, and we decided to come out to Slab. But um, it should be up in May or June. We're gonna try and get a few episodes in the can before we release one. But um, I'm expecting sometime in the middle of this year we'll be able to watch this documentary about Slab. City. Had a great time. Met so many amazing people. So. I'm excited about coming back. I was the uh, coordinating producer. I'm the uh, assistant camera. Hey there, um, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, I, I, when I heard about this thing, I thought it was was going to be the most ridiculous thing I ever saw, and it was. But for none of the same reasons that I originally thought. Um, I think it's really amazing that a society can live and work and work functionally. Uh, without all the things that we take a grant for every day, like running water and electricity and all that stuff, and everyone's content with it, and that's like that's mind blowing to me. Um, for me, this is actually my third time down to uh, Slab City. I first came here with my family a couple years ago, and immediately fell in love with the place. And I was a big advocate for uh, coming down here with this crew and telling the story because I love it down here, and I think it's a it's a great story to be told. So basically, you, Miriam invited me to travel with her to hop in freight trains down in Oakland. And she wanted someone to be her travel road dog. Is that, is that the correct terminology? That's what the Krusties might say. Yes, I was her road dog. And it's a selective kind of group, you know, just like any residency. The people with a specific, uh, maybe a creative vocation, are looking for something, and they somehow end up here. This is a crossroads. And I feel that this place gives people a space to imagine, to kind of have a chance to think and to get outside of the normal kind of like space, spaces that they have to be, you know, living in. So from that perspective, it reminds me a lot of that, like an ashram or a Sufi shrine. And it would seem strange to compare the two, but it actually resonates with me because I used to live just down the street from a Sufi shrine in Delhi. And so much traffic of random strangers through here, some of whom think they get the project, or do get the project, or have no use for the project. And it's, so it's really amazing to come into a community like this that seems so, so tight and so well established, and be, be welcomed so readily by so many different people who seem to be, who seem to be coming from a great variety of backgrounds and interests, and have ended up in this place sort of as a society happening outside the bounds of society.